we put on the Art Foliage Festival every year. It started out actually with the growers of Apopka would uh, put on the festival and then the women kind of took it over and they brought the art to the foliage. This is our 53rd year. Uh, we have over 100 artists and crafters, uh, 28 different foliage vendors, and um, as you can see, there's all kinds of good food out there to eat too. It's about bringing all of us together, yes. Yes, for a popka. Plants are a place for those of us who love art and love expressing ourselves in artful ways. Uh, plants have become a, a new arena for for doing those artful things. And so I have really found an exciting uh, area to express myself as an artist in this whole area of horticulture plants. And um, I'm constantly surprised by this um, palette of color that um, nature provides us in plants and how they, they will adjust and um, bend and mold and you can develop them into some incredible shapes. And, so uh, it, it just constantly amazes me what can come out of just a little bit of effort and a little artful thinking when it comes to plants. Art to me is, is my love of nature and what I like to bring to the, to the public. And it's, it's something I've been doing since I was very young. It's always been a love of mine. I, like I said, I've just recently got into doing the birds and really starting to enjoy them and more and more. And, and so a lot of people are noticing that too, because it's like a, it's, they're both selling the landscapes and the birds, so that's even better. It's uh, functional artwork. It's all out of copper and brass. Uh, I've been making the sprinklers for about 15 years now, and uh, the spinners could certainly be classified as artwork in, in my view. Uh, they, they're ones I've, I've been making those for about three years now and developed them. It took me about six to nine months to develop them to where they're at now and uh, those, those are truly w would be considered art in my estimation. It, 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 they're pretty cool to, to, to think that I, uh, I came up with that and act actually people like it and uh, that's, that's a pretty cool feeling to have someone tell you that they, they really like what you do. My grandfather started making furniture before my father was even born so it's him, my father, me and it's a three generation family business and he taught my father and my father's been teaching me and so we take each one of these pieces and each piece is kind of naturally what it is. There is an art to it but I like to say that you know God makes this stuff beautiful and we just try to make it functional because the natural beauty is, is in the piece itself. We're actually using the reclaimed recycled stumps, roots and branches but this is all teak wood and so because it's teak wood you can actually put it outside, you can let it get rained on, it won't rot and by us taking this it allows them to replant the tree which kind of keeps the whole plantation going so that one day my children can do what we're doing today.